So this weekend we have Raphael Fiziev versus Mateus Gamrod in the main event of the UFC Fight Night. And I can't wait for this matchup to happen. This is going to be probably an exciting fight. But I think in terms of my prediction, I have to go with Raphael Fiziev or Fiziev. However you say his name, it's a weird name. It's, you know, somewhere in the Eastern Hemisphere kind of name. But I have to go ahead and pick Fiziev to win this fight over Gamron. Now, this is kind of a tricky prediction, if I'm being totally honest with you. It's somewhat kind of weird because we have a traditional striker versus grappler matchup. And typically, when we have these kind of matchups, I would say eight times out of 10, the grappler typically wins. Maybe like seven or six is more realistic. I'm probably being a, I'm probably exaggerating here. But I think typically the grappler gets the advantage over the striker. But I think there's such a difference on the feet here that we're going to see Fazeev most likely put down Gamrod. I'm not going to say TKO because I don't know how good the chin of Gamrod is. He can take a shot. He has a, a pretty solid chin, but we saw him get dropped by Benil Dariush. We've seen him get hurt by Jalen Turner. We've seen him pretty much get exposed on the feet several times in Mateus Gamrod is who I'm talking about. So I'm just a bit unsure how he's going to do. I used to really rate the striking of Gamrod. I even had a whole like tier list and I had my like B tier at lightweight. We'll put him at a solid B tier. He does have solid striking, but not that next level. He's more of a grappler. Uh, now I've kind of cooled off on him and I don't think that his striking is as good as I once thought it was. I think he's going to get pretty much beaten up and battered with the exchanges on the feet. And I'm kind of worried that maybe he might take down Fiziev. I don't know if he, like he can, I think, but I don't know if he's going to just grapple fuck him. It's possible, but I think Fiziev has shown against Rafael Dos Anjos that he has solid takedown defense. But I think that Gamrot's takedowns are a bit better because he's younger, he's more improved. Like he, RDA is kind of getting to the end of his career here and Gamrot's still kind of in his prime almost. So I, I think that Gamrot will pose a bigger threat with the takedown. I think he likes to chain them together and RDA kind of likes to get you up against the cage and go for double legs and single legs and like work on his takedown. Well, I think Gamrot is more of a, like kind of a chain. I'm gonna I'm go for one. If I miss it, I'm gonna go for another one. You know what I mean? I think his style of grappling is a more of a threat to Fazeev than what RDA was. But I think just on the feet, man, like you can arguably, you can really arguably give Rafael Fazeev the first two rounds against Justin Gaethje. And that's saying something. Like Fazeev is an actual elite striker. I think in terms of just pure technique, if Fazeev never gassed out, I think that he would be the best striker at lightweight. I think in pure of terms, just technical skill at lightweight, he is the best striker, but he has that one issue in his game. But now that I'm talking more about this fight, the more I'm leaning towards Gamma, but I don't know how this is going to play out. This is like, to me, this is truly like a 50-50 fight. It really depends on the gas tank of Fazeev. And he showed a good gas tank against RDA and was able to put him out in that fifth round. But I just don't know because in every other fight that we watch from Fazeev, he seems to always have a gas tank issue. So I don't, I don't know how well he's going to deal with the grappling and then like Gamera is pretty offensive. Like he's pretty much sticking to the guy. Like he's pretty aggressive. He's pretty pressure heavy and he's a solid gas tank. So I just, I don't know how Fazeev is going to deal with that pressure of Gamera. But I think on the feet, it's a total mismatch. So I might predict in early rounds TKO for Rafael Fazeev. But again, like I'm not putting money on this. If I'm getting any betting advice to anybody, is that you probably shouldn't put money on this fight because this is like, it can go either way. And this is kind of a bad matchup for Fazeev, but it's also kind of a bad matchup for Gamrot. So I, I just don't know. Because one guy has an obvious hole in his striking, I think the other guy, his weakness would probably be takedowns. Like that would probably make his work on the feet or his striking not as good as it would be against another striker because Fazeev has to worry about takedowns. But I think Fazeev is going to go for a lot of body shots in this, get that natural underhook, and just be able to pretty much tool up Gamrod on the feet for probably two rounds. Because every single fight in Gamrod's career, like he seems to, he's pretty open on the feet, man. Like he just simply is open. And that really worries me. Like if you're getting caught by Benil Dariush with an overhand right, don't get me wrong, Benil Dariush is really good on the feet. I think he's just tricky and unorthodox. But I think if 
Like if you're able, if you're getting caught by him clean like that, I think Fazeev can do you just a tad bit better with, I think, more power because this guy has insane amount of power in the early rounds. This might even be a first round TKO for Fazeev. I, I really don't know. Like it's just, it's so weird because Gamrot, like he can grapple really well, but I just don't think with what he's shown me against his matchups with Jalen Turner and Benel Darius that his striking is up to par with some of these top lightweights. And I think Fazeev is a top lightweight. I think he is firmly a top five lightweight if we take out some of the guys. I think Fazeev would probably beat a Poirier on the feet, if I'm being honest, if he doesn't gas out, of course. But I think in a three-rounder versus Poirier, I would probably take Fazeev to beat him. Especially now, since Poirier got KO'd by Gaethje, so I think his chin might be a bit worse than what it typically is. Because he got put down pretty bad, like out cold against Gaethje, so... I don't know, like this matchup is kind of weird. It's I'm trying to talk through it because it's a different one, difficult one to predict. Fazeev has just shown me that he has that uh, he is levels above Gamera in the striking. And I think against RDA, he's shown that he has really solid takedown defense, especially in the early rounds. He's going to be more juiced up, more of that adrenaline is going to be pumping through his veins. He's more fast twitchy than Gamrot. I think he's going to catch him early on the feet and put him down bad and probably send Gamrot back home to Poland, I believe. <laughs> I think it's Poland. But don't get me wrong here. Gamrot really does have a super solid chance of beating Rafael Fazeev. He can definitely grapple fuck him for five rounds and probably finish him. But I think if he does get to that fourth and fifth round, we're going to see Gamrot probably take over as the fight goes on. But I think with just how good Fazeev is on the feet and how good he is early, we're going to see him probably TKO him in the first round, second round. I think he'll land a nice body shot to like a right hook, somewhat similar to the way he KO'd uh, Hanato Moicano, but I don't think it's going to be kind of like that, just similar in a sense. I think he'll put him down. And again, Gamron is really tough though. He is tough. I think he'll put him down like probably two or three times before he finishes him off. Because I really don't see Gamron going out to the first shot. I think he'll do what he did against Benil Darius and like roll around like a roly-poly for a second and get back up to his feet. He'll scramble a little bit. But I think eventually it'll be too much. It will overwhelm him. And we'll see Rafael Fazeev pretty much put down Gamrot, finish him off. I'm officially, I said first, second round. I'm officially going early second round TKO for Rafael Fazeev. I'm worried about it. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not super confident in this pick, but I do think Fazeev has the facilities to get it done against Mateus Gamrot. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you guys for watching this video up to this point. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and that bell icon for notifications. I'm out of here, guys. Peace.